This is Charles Kale with Travel Mall TV at Focus Ride in, in Scottsdale, Arizona, with uh, Barry Volinsky, who's the founder of Evature. Good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, thank you for reminding me about how your company won three of the top awards last year at this event, uh, showcasing your technology travel innovation. One, two, and runner-up on another one, yes. Tell us about your, your product. Uh, our product does semantic search for travel. We offer, we're a B2B service. We offer travel companies the ability to offer their customers the chance to search for travel with a search bar, semantically, like Google does, or with voice, like Siri does. And we offer that to all travel companies, flights, hotels, car rental, cruises. Uh, so our companies, our customers are here in the show as uh, representative and uh, participants. Uh, we've been focusing on uh, leisure and corporate travel. We just uh, this earlier this week, Concur announced the investment in literature. So we're going to focus a little bit more on corporate travel in the coming half a year to a year. Uh, we do a very cool technology. We think it's uh, lacking in travel. And we hope uh, this will be the future of how people will interface with travel websites and travel mobile apps. And that's what we offer. Give me an example of a deployment and how that uses your application. So we have, uh, for example, websites that, uh, like Amargo in Russia, that did a complete Google thing that you can actually type. You have a clean page with a search bar, and you can type search for a flight, and you get results for, for flights. Uh, we have other sites, uh, like Flight and Hotel in the UK, that added a search bar to an existing page, and this increases conversion rates, and people that are used to search, like in Google, by typing text, are using that. And we're integrating with other applications and backend products that will, in the end of the day, improve the conversion rate, improve the user experience, and uh, voices in infancy. You see some demos here at the show, but we have a mature product that can actually be deployed. So let's go back to that Russian site. Yeah. I can type, uh, go into that tr Russian travel site. It's yeah. in Russian. Uh, it's English, Russian, or Chinese. Uh -huh. And you can type things like uh, flights from Moscow to uh, Madrid next Monday and get an itinerary, get searches. You can type things like uh, with location, with uh, flexible dates, and the system will understand what you want. Uh, it's even more detailed. You can say, uh, and this system actually doesn't take advantage of it, but our engine actually provides you ability to enter things like flights from Rome to New York, via Paris. So uh, you, next you Monday. talk to this you talk to the system. You can type in this this particular is a website, so you actually have a Google bar and you type things into it with free text. Yes. But on mobile you can actually say those things. So if you look for uh, we had a video, a very cool video in last year's uh, or this year's actually, London T Hack. It shows an integration between uh, Google Voice, Everture, and uh, Travelport Universal API, Viant, Search, and uh, Expedia Affiliate Network, in which you just say things. You, for example, you could search for a hotel, three-star hotel in Vegas, romantic with uh, wife and kids for the next weekend. And you'll find hotels in Vegas through the Expedia Affiliate Networks. And uh, so we're actually comprehending what you said, convert it into a structured format, you can then search in any of the other APIs, uh, be it uh, Travelport Universal API, Viant, Expedia, Affiliate Network, whatever. And that's the service. We actually help the companies form a better front end for their services to have a natural way to interact with the service. Because travel is kind of, I guess, the only industry existing on the web that you have to fill forms and have to click on checkboxes. Everybody else can allow you to just put a nice search bar and type things. Or in the mobile, this will be kind of the Siri experience. You need to click on a button and talk to the phone and get responses. And that's where we're looking to give to the travel industry. Um, it's amazing, this voice recognition. Uh, uh, remember IBM and a whole bunch of other folks with uh, doing, doing the late yeah. 90s, yeah, yeah. Uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, and they all disappeared after two, three years. Yeah. So it's the technology has stabilized, matured, and and now you were able to uh, uh, apply it to travel and to yeah, tourism. Ama amazingly, the voice to text technology in the last, I guess, two years become really mature. And uh, if you use Google Voice uh, or you use one of the new on space products, which are kind of, I guess, the two leading technologies for transferring voice to text, they work. They work in 95% of the time if you have a reasonable accent in the language you're talking with. And in other accents it works quite well as well. It's improving all the time. What Ivica does is take that 
voice to text and add a layer of comprehension, natural language comprehension. So the, the deal here is not to translate the voice into a text meaning, but actually understand what that means. If somebody says flights uh, from Madrid on Monday, you need to understand what is Madrid, what is Monday, what are the applicable airports to search for travel with, give it context that is flight related and travel related in general, and that's what we do. So we take a mature technology that people don't realize it's mature today, of converting voice to text, and then add to that a comprehension engine that actually understands what the person means and can carry a conversation with you and get to the results that a travel agent will do in the... Uh, and, then, and then talk to the API of the booking yes, or exactly. search system. Exactly. We don't want to replace the booking engine. They have excellent APIs. The problem is these APIs are all formatted. We need to fill form and fields and uh, uh, put dates in the right places. And if you want a hotel with uh, particular attributes, like a pet-friendly hotel in Vegas that is also three star and above, up to $300 a night, you can't say those things. You need to look at various checkboxes and find where to head. In our engine, you can just say that I want a pet-friendly hotel up to four stars for less than $300 a night in Vegas. And you get results. And that's, that's kind of a service. And then, I guess the And you make your money through license fees of the, for this technology, I presume? Uh, we make money from uh, access to the API. It's a web API. It's a SaaS because we want to grow the engine. So the whole engine is in the cloud. And uh, companies that want to use our engine as part of their offering basically pay us for the usage, not per query, but for a kind of a monthly license fees that are for using the engine. It's a fraction of what they probably make out of conversions or increasing conversion rates and user satisfaction, and that's basically the model. Is uh, the pricing such that small and medium size uh, companies can afford it, or sure. just big ones? Sure, we have an uh, initial uh, free API offer to, for developers that can play with the API and uh, see what it's all about, actually get convinced that it works because it does. And then we have uh, entry fees that are very small for small companies that can actually use it and it grows with usage. If you uh, run the millions of queries per day, you'll pay a lot more mm -hmm. than if you run uh, 200 queries per day. And it's built exactly that way. Well, wonderful. Uh, Barry Wolinski, uh, founder of uh, Evature, thank you very much. Thank you.